Benzinga Nation, what is going on? We appreciate you for tuning in to the first ever Futures Fever show. Man, this is going to be, I'm, I'm excited. This is going to be a great show. We're going to talk futures. We're going to talk charts. We're going to talk funded trading accounts and all the good stuff. You name it. We've got it. We appreciate you for coming over from all access and live trading as well. Look, we told you last week, I think it was, that, hey, you know, we're doing some different things. We're trying some new things out. We want to give you more trading content. So that's exactly what this show is going to be about. And I got a little intro. I'm excited to play this. Smash the like, though. Help me out. Here we go. Welcome to Futures Fever, where we dive deep into the world of futures trading and uncover opportunities no matter the market conditions, because volatility is simply an opportunity to find profitable trades. So don't sit back and relax, but sit up and engage as Futures Fever, powered by Apex Trader Funding, starts right now. I mean, if that doesn't get you hyped, then I don't, I don't really know what will, but that definitely gets me hyped. Uh, big, big shout out, by the way. You know, you guys see my face on screen, but it's always the folks in the back that make this happen as well. You've got AT, the producer. You've got Enver, who made the banners that you see on the top and bottom. And you've got Kunal, who went ahead and made the intro itself as well. So here's what we're going to do. For the first three, four minutes, we're going to talk about Apex and how you can go ahead and get your eval and how that works. And then we'll dive right into the charts. I'll take some trades uh, myself. So let's go ahead and talk about what Apex themselves do so apex trader funding right it's where you can go ahead and pass an eval where if you go ahead and get certain profitability in your eval phase you go ahead and get funded and then you can go ahead and trade with a funded account and make some money off of them you get to keep 90 percent up to i believe twenty five thousand, which is a pretty sweet deal right now they've got 75 percent off and they have half price resets obviously no surprise here but it helps us out on the show side to show how great we do if you go ahead and use promo code FEVER to get that 71% off. Um, and it's just, some, it's just some really cool stuff you can check out if you want to understand more. Here are the pricing of everything. I personally, that's, so that's that's what you know Apex is. I personally use them as well. And I'm happy to share this. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't really know. But if I get in trouble, I get in trouble. But um, I personally go ahead and use them myself. So you'll see that you know I passed the eval accounts myself. You can see I've already passed one which means I have a funded account with them as well. You can see I have another one that I should get funded with, and I've got another one that I need to go ahead and work on as well. So that's how it works. I, everything you see here, I have personally, just like you at home, have passed these evals. Now I've paid for the funded account as well, and now we are ready to rock and roll. So make sure you guys go check out Apex Trader Funding. Use promo code FEVER. It helps us out. It helps them show that, hey, our viewers are engaged in this. And now let's go ahead and dive into the trading action. Uh, here's what I'm kind of looking at. Yesterday, this is what I traded uh, to pass one of the eval accounts. And it was, let's kind of zoom out. And by the way, chat, um, I'm not at my normal setup, as you can tell. So I'm going to go kind of back and forth with making sure I check out the chat, make sure I view what you guys are talking about and you know go through trades and different things like that as well. So here, let's, let's kind of zoom out. This is the NQ, right? This is a NASDAQ 100 E-mini futures on the four hour. Let me go ahead and take this puppy out for now. Uh, this is kind of like the trend line that I drew. So first, let's go even further. Uh, you can see that I had my resistance kind of charted right over here, right? So this is about your, what is that? Uh, 71, uh, 17, 168, right here. So this is where I knew, hey, we had resistance. We popped over. And now here's the beautiful thing about it. And we talk about it all the time. This isn't like the holy grail or we're not telling you any magic nuggets or anything like that. But you can see how that resistance, if you look left, right, how that resistance right over here turned in to support right there. So you had a nice little pop. Then it came back and tested it twice in eight hours because each candle here represents four hours. It's a four-hour chart. And then you started moving to the upside. So that's the beauty of support and resistance. Is it going to work 100% of the time? No. I, I you know, would be in a much nicer hotel with the poolside view and all that good stuff if it did work 100%. We would all be filthy rich. But that's, that's the first thing that I drew. And then I went ahead and have this trend line here as well. And I noticed that, okay, cool. We went ahead and broke this trend line. And you can see, again, this trend line here was support, right? So you had a support right over there. You had support right over here. Then it kind of was like, eh, do I want to be supportive in this relationship or do I kind of want to go ahead and get out of it? Uh, then we broke it. We retested it. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. 
We retested it, had it come back up, test the trend line, and then to the downside we came. And now we're holding this area as support, which is your 17,450. It's holding on as support. So I'm going to go ahead and set a little alert here. And I know you guys love my alerts. So if we do go ahead and break that level, I will go ahead and see if I want to place a trade and take it uh, to the downside and go short. And how am I going to go short? I've already got, like I said, oh, matter of fact, matter of fact, chat, this is great. I can just go ahead and kind of do this. So this is one of the eval accounts. I'll be very clear and transparent here. This is one of the eval accounts where I am short right now uh, for contracts with crude oil because let me, and then, you know, you can see how I'm up about 620 bucks at the moment. Again, eval account, not real money, not funded. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out CL and see why I wanted to go ahead and take this trade. Uh, oops, let me, let me get it. There we go. Cool. Uh, this is where it gets a little interesting. I wanted to go ahead and go short here, but I'll be honest, I was doing some other stuff and I wasn't exactly trading at 9 a.m. You can see that we popped back above. You had a little bit of rejection and now we're flirting with this same trend line that if you go ahead and let's go to the 65 minutes. I know I have a lot of things here, but you had here support once again, that's two, three, and now we're flirting with it to see if we can go ahead and reject. I want us to reject and I want us to come down to about the 7650 area, um, or excuse me, the first target is 77, then 7650, then 76 itself. But what it can easily do is come back and if it pops up above 7760, and you know, I just realized this whole time I was sharing the wrong chart. But let me go ahead and do this again. Da -da 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 -da. This is the trend line I was talking about. Support one, two, three. Now we're flirting with the fourth one. Let's see what ends up happening. I'm short here. What can easily go ahead and happen, which is why I'm not in heavy, and this is why it's an eval account. I'll be honest. With an eval account, I think you can take a little bit more risks. Uh, I don't want you guys and gals to get the mentality of, oh, it's not my money. I can go ahead and go crazy with it. No, because you do have to pay for these evals. No matter how sweet of a deal it is to get 71% off, you're still putting your hard-run money at work. So, but I have taken a little bit of size here. And if it does go ahead and break this 7760 area here, I will go ahead and stop out. But if we go ahead and crack this, and if we go green to red with crude oil futures, this could be a nice little uh, payday in the sense that I can pass the eval for this one and get another funded account as well. So I already have one, and that's what we're going to go ahead and play with this. Go ahead and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or you want to smash the like or anything like that. But um, that's what's going on in the futures world. I do want to go ahead and take a look at the SPY because even though I'm trading futures, I always like to know what's happening in the indices and see how we can kind of rock that up. Let's see what we've got here. Got a little bit of resistance areas here. So that's kind of where I'm looking at here. We'll see if we can, let's go to the 30 minute. Let's see if we can get above this or if we're going to continue to just have it be resistant and we can't because right now we're obviously red and we're looking to go red to green. It's been approximately almost two hours since the market's been open and we haven't been able to go green just yet. Uh, and we'll see if that action kind of comes into play. And let's go ahead and take a look at the cues da, 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 right off the bat. Let me, let me ask the chat. And sometimes, you know, the chat likes to say it, but sometimes you can go ahead and see resistance or support lines quite easily. So there's your support right there, right? Uh, it held on as support yesterday. It's holding on as support twice already today. So we would go ahead and set our alerts right there. And in case it breaks, if you didn't want to trade futures, you wanted to trade the cues, whether it's through puts or whether it's through shorting shares, this is your chance to go ahead and do so if we can go ahead and break to the downside on the queue. So my alerts are set there. So the way that I would play this, if we go ahead and break on the 15 minute, which I can put up right there, if we go to break on the 15 minute and we come back up to test it, I would go short via puts and or short via shares, one of those. Then I would come over to the NQ, which should reflect the same exact thing. And where we go ahead and break this 17,450, not always, but usually you will see some type of correlation in the support and resistance breaking. Of course, the movement will be the same, but the support and resistance levels may be a little different. So you want to pay attention to both. Then I would go short with a funded account. I'll probably go short with like say two contracts and risk maybe 200 bucks. I want to, I want to risk about 200 to 250 bucks every single time that I go ahead and take a trade. 
Um, chat, let me know if there are any stock charts you want me to review as well, right? I know this is a futures show, but we, we want to talk all things finance as well. And again, if you want to go ahead and get an eval account to go ahead and uh, try to pass, you can use a promo code FEVER for 71% off. NVIDIA has been the talk of the town. Everyone knows it. Everyone's been waiting for it to see what's going to go ahead and happen. But before we do that, I want to go to this chart right here. You have one hit on the trend line. You have two hit on the trend line. We break the trend line, and then you go ahead and have it act as resistance, and then we just kind of flush on down. So for me, it's kind of clear that in terms of support, our support is right here at this, uh, what is that, 677? This is where our support is. So I don't expect a lot of movement before earnings unless something leaks or somebody you know knows something. But the 677 will be an interesting area to keep in mind either where after they report or later on, or maybe even today, if it does go ahead and break and you have people that want to take some profits ahead of earnings, you can easily see this one head on to the downside, just like we saw in our good old friend of SMCI. I did go ahead and get a chance to trade this one yesterday. Uh, where did I trade it? Matter of fact, here, let me do this. Let me do this. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Uh, you can see me trade my 10 measly shares. Okay. Hey, where'd it go? I know for a fact I traded this yesterday. Oh, it's because I didn't take the route. I was like, I know I'm not a liar. Okay. So here's where I traded it, and I'm, I'm more so I want to talk about why I traded this one yesterday with my awesome 10 shares where I got to make 100 bucks. You can see in the pre-market, we had support here at this, uh, da, 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 at this support of 765 area, right? You had support. You had support. I think, I think my buddy Feehan just said, hey, do you know how to make the charts bigger? You know what? I can do this if that helps. Then I can zoom in if needed. Let me know, chat. But anyway, let me go back here. Um, so you have support that was identified here in the pre-market yesterday. So when I started, you know, after I got done with my calls and my morning emails, which is this what it feels like to be an adult? I don't know. But you can see how we flushed on the 15-minute. Then the second 15-minute candle, we came back to test that same area. And you can see I went short 10 shares, 761.65 was my entry. So I got in around right here. My stop loss was... My stop loss was a risk of 100 bucks and trying to make 100 bucks. By the way, I did get stopped out on my eval account for my crude oil trade, which I'll review here in a second. Um, then it just flushed and I went in and took my 100 bucks. Did I want to go ahead and risk a little bit more? Absolutely. Or in terms of be greedy? Yes. But again, I'm just looking at, you know, when I work this full time job now with Benzinga, I want to make sure I can just get a couple hundred bucks under my belt and not risk and worry about too much stress or anything like that. So just another example of support turning into resistance and just flushing to the downside. You can see now today it is still acting as a bit of resistance and we are still now underneath that resistance area. How it's going to play out, especially with NVIDIA earnings, I don't exactly know. I'm not quite sure, um, but we will actually go ahead and get that taken care of. Voodoo's asking, Zunaid, have you actually been paid yet? Voodoo, I appreciate you thinking that I'm a very, very profitable trader when it comes to futures. Now, Full transparency, right? I personally have not been paid. However, there are many, many, many influencers that we've worked with that I know have been paid. They've come on in different shows and talked about a Trader Bacon show Monday, 11 o'clock. Check that one out. They've talked about being you know, paid as well. Um, so as soon as I go ahead and get paid, which I'm hoping is in a month. So I'm hoping that in four weeks, since I already have a funded account, I'm hoping that we can get to profitability to the point where I can go and request a payout and I will... Like always, show with full transparency. Hey, here's me getting paid, uh, but I'm not. I'm not stressed one bit about um, not getting paid. Uh, someone asked why Apex and not another platform. Apex is futures, right? So I want to get into futures because I'm a night owl. Sometimes I like to trade at night, and you know, especially with me having a full time job, I want to be able to trade at night and then produce these shows and different things like that for y'all. Uh, during the daytime as well. So it's because Apex handles futures. They're great at it. And that's why I wanted to go ahead 
and rock with them here. Uh, let me know if there's any other stocks that you guys want me to review. I'm going to go back to the crude oil trade that I took. I did take a loss on it. And here's what happened. It just broke my stop loss, right? My stop loss, was, I believe, was 60 cents. It popped above. This trend line went ahead and held the support. We got in a little bit too quick, hoping for the break. We didn't get it. That happens. And then we do go ahead and get stopped out. Let's see what other trades may be out there um, in the futures world. Let's go ahead and take a look at the NQ. And again, chat, you can drop your tickers. Let me know if there's anything you want me to review. Feel free to hit the like button as well to support the show. Let's see what else we've got. Are we going to break this? Ah, look at that. Are we actually going to come down? So here's two things. Okay, so here's where we're going to be patient. This is how I'm planning out my next trade. If it's going to happen, I don't know while we're on air. We've got about another, what do I think? I've got about another 17 minutes with y'all. What I'm looking to do is if we go ahead and break this little trend line intraday, I'm interested to go long, especially on the retest. Or if we go ahead and break this 17,450, to the downside, I'm interested. Now, if someone wanted to right off the bat go and um, get into a trade right now, I wouldn't recommend it. However, if you wanted to do it, what you could do is you could go ahead and go short here and then have a stop loss right above this wick on this side. Let me go ahead and scroll up. So it's like you would go short here. And then you could go ahead and have a stop loss if we go ahead and break the 17 533s or so. You are risking a solid 40 points. So you want to make sure that you are smart about how you risk uh, your money because this is the E-mini. E-mini on the NASDAQ, on the NQ, every single point, right? So if it goes from 17 520 to 17 521, it's $20. So if that's a little too much risk for you, which let's be honest, for a lot of people it is, which is why I love Apex and their eval accounts and their funded accounts, you can go ahead and trade the uh, micros on the NASDAQ as well. So that's the MNQ that you can trade. And then you split your risk and your size essentially by like it, it's the 10th of it. So you reduce it quite a bit on that end. Let's go ahead and take a look at MSTR. Give me a second. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this one here, chat. I know this used to be a hot, hot runner. As you can see with the, I mean, look at the gaps that this puppy still needs to fill. You know, um, if we do go ahead and break this 614, and again, this is where you'd want to set your alerts in case it does happen in the future. If you break this, you got to think that we close the gap on this side. So let's go ahead and plan that out. And again, nothing is 100% strategy, but the way that I would play it, matter of fact, I might actually go ahead and set my alerts right there, is if we go ahead and break this 614, which we are ways away from doing, right? We're like about 70 points away, give or take. We'll go ahead and break it. Maybe you can take options that are two, three months out and see if you want to get $600 puts, depending on the price and what's happening and see if you can go ahead and get a move down to 600 and then over to 691 to close the gap. But for now, it's holding on to support at this uh, 653 area and see if we can go ahead and get a move to the upside. You've got a couple of weeks, you're looking like hammers and see if we can get a little bit of move to the upside on that one. Okay, uh, let's see, let's go back to the NQ trade. This is kind of where my all eyes are, uh, waiting to see if we can go ahead and get a movement that we like. Da, 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 oh, I didn't even tell you guys this. There's something that we're planning with Apex. I can't talk about it yet. And I promise it's not because I want to be a tease, but just like last week, the paperwork hadn't been signed, but I told you about the show, then the paperwork got signed, and now here we are rocking with you. Um, there's something else in the works with Apex that I'm excited about. Uh, it'll be a chance for our futures traders and also the new futures traders to make some more money uh, figuring out the details. We will go ahead and uh, take care of business and let you know exactly what that is. Will you invite Money Mitch? Dude, Money Mitch is always welcome on the show. Uh, I've been, I, you know, I keep tabs on my man, sees what he's up to in social media. He's teasing his own stuff about some cool things he's working on in the background as well. Would love for Money Mitch to come back um, and hang out with us, whether it's, you know, 
as a guest, his own show, whatever the case may be, he's always, he's always, he's always welcome. All right, let's see what else we've got. So anyway, here's the game plan on NQ. This is a 15 minute chart. If we go ahead and break this 17,520, I'd be interested in going long. If we go ahead and break to the downside on this 17,450, which I've already set alerts on both sides, I'd be interested in going to uh, going short as well. Sorry, maybe I maybe I said that wrong. If we go ahead and break this 17,520, I'm interested in going to the upside and going long. If we go ahead and break this 17,450, I'm interested in going short. And by the way, chat, I'd love to have some of you on the show as well. So if you're a futures trader and you are comfortable, whether you want to be on video and voice or just voice and no video, dude, let's let's talk some futures, man. Let's 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 find a way to make some money together. Um, you know, I'm always looking for individuals to kind of hop on as a guest and things like that. Matter of fact, tomorrow I have a lovely individual. She goes by the name of Options Sandy. We're confirming details, but she is going to hop on a show with me just, just to talk some stocks and options and things like that. That'll be tomorrow at 11 o'clock as well. So again, that's another 30 minutes of trading action that we want to go ahead and bring your way. All right, cool. So that's what we're looking at. Our alerts are set. We're good to go on that side of things as well. Um, what happened to the Ninja Trader, buddy? Oh, yeah, Jim, my man, Jim. Uh, I'm not sure. I, you know, we we were supposed to cook up another show, but I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Uh, but he was he was great. He was a wealth of knowledge. Um, I know he loved the View app just as much as I did. So let's see here. By the way. We've got that. Why is my NQ being a little weird? That's weird. Chat, do you know where my studies are? I don't know where my indicators went. I've got them. I don't know why they're not added. That's weird. I typically have them on the left. Okay. Anyway, that's the NQ. Let's go and take it to the ES and see what's rocking and rolling there. Oh, look at that. Another beautiful break of support. Flush yesterday. Come back and test it. I mean, this is where, you know, <clears throat> you know how if you guys watch football or anything like that, I, I used to play. I know I may not look like I did, but I, I used to play junior uh, varsity flag football. And I used to play junior varsity football for high school. I played two games. So I still claim status as a football player. And I played flag football. And whenever, you know, we would train for it, the coach would always say, hey, as a receiver, sometimes you want to go ahead and get the pass. You want to go out and chase the pass. And sometimes you want to wait to kind of come and let the trade come to you. And that's kind of how I apply this philosophy. It took me a while to understand it. But now I'm a lot more patient um, with my trading to the point where I don't want to just get into the trade just because I feel fall more, just because I need to make money or whatever the case is. I wait the same way we're waiting on this NQ to decide which way it wants to go, then we can take what I believe is a higher, probab higher probability of a trade than just trading something because we want the junkie and the you know dopamine effect or whatever the case may be. But long story short, you look, take a look on this left side, you had support, bounced once, twice, three times, reclaimed it, moved to the upside four times. Then we went ahead and flushed at the open and then we came back and tested it an hour 30 later. It's the traders that sometimes may not wait for these hour 30 later moves where you have a much better setup and you get a beautiful flush. And those are the individuals that kind of lose and feel like the market's rigged and all that good stuff as well. Uh, not, not really fun for those individuals. But again, we're being patient. We've got about 10 minutes to hang out with us before we hop on some other calls for me, which I'd love to stream for y'all sometimes. You, know, you guys can see how planning works at Benzinga. Although, you know, I, I do say some crazy things, but this is what we're waiting on in the NQ. Our alerts are set. If you want to go ahead and set this up on your charts, you're more than welcome to. Again, not financial advice. I'm not certified. I can't even do CPR. Um, so make sure you know that you're taking on your own risk. And this is strictly for entertainment purposes. And if you want to try to pass an eval, I believe it's one day pass, by the way, with uh, Apex right now. So it's if you go ahead and meet the threshold of profitability on the eval, you don't have to wait seven days. You can go ahead and get a funded account within 24 hours. That's the cool thing about it. Uh, and then, you know, we've got some special things going on. NVIDIA, we already kind of talked about. Chat, let me know if there are any other tickers that you want me to go over 
um, here, whether it's related to futures or whether it's not. We already kind of talked about this one and how it broke to the upside. I'm actually going to set an alert here in case it does decide to come on down. And we can take this trade again to the downside. Matter of fact, let me see. Oh, you know who I would love to get? I would love to get, I believe her Twitter handle is Tori Trades. I know she's like now trading, is it platinum? I know she used to trade crude oil and she's she's amazing from the tweets that I've seen. I'd love to have her on the show. Might have to reach out to her and uh, see see if she's down to hang out for a little bit and talk talk shop, talk some futures, some stocks. Let's see what else is going on here. Let me go ahead and turn this off. I just hate when my chart's busy. Unless I'm like showing y'all something specific, I hate when my chart is busy. Apple, by the way, I wanted to talk to AB about this. Apple went ahead and released an app today, I think, called Apple Sports, pretty much competing with ESPN, uh, where you can go ahead and, you know, follow scores, play-by-play, -play, betting odds, and different things like that for all your favorite teams. Uh, what's up, Anissa? You want me to take a look at NG? I sure can. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Unless you meant like uh, on the future side. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and, you know, chart this one in case you did mean the other one. No problem. You let me know. But this is another perfect, perfect example of how you had support right here. You had support right here. Then we went ahead and broke the support. And this is the daily, by the way, that I've got pulled up here. We break that support. And then the next day we come back and test it and then just flush to the downside for one, two, three, four, five straight days just to the downside. Um, and then now in terms of, hey, where is the next resistance level? I would just from a quick look. I would say you've got resistance level right there at about 256. And we can then maybe see if a trend is going to form before it either breaks out or breaks down right there. So that's that's NG on that side. And I that's I thought you were talking about futures, but it's okay. At least at least you uh um, got a chance. The chat did as well to see what how I go ahead and you know kind of take care of these things. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at natural gas. We've got a bit of a gap, if you will, on this side, but let's uh, da, 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 da. let's go ahead and go to the four hours and see if we've got anything here. So natural gas is one, not one that I have traded in the past, right? Typically, I just stick to my NQ, my ES, and my CL, my crude oil. Um, but let's see. Let's see what we've got. Let's see if we can cook something up here of value. So obviously downtrend, downtrend, downtrend. Now we go ahead and move to the upside, right? And here's what I mean. When I say downtrend, I'm talking about lower lows. So this is a lower low. 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 And it's also lower highs, right? This is a lower high. This is a lower high. This is a lower high. And then we say, screw you, I'm moving to the upside. And then we just blast off on the 20th aka yesterday at 2 p.m we just went to the upside on natural gas from here i think we got to go ahead and break 180 right i think that's your resistance area right there um so you had resistance there on the 13th of feb so right before valentine's day move to the downside try to go ahead and test the resistance area um today still having a little bit of trouble getting past it so i would say once you get past 180 You've got a chance to go ahead and move up, and the next <clears throat> the next spot might be 186, and then I would say see if we can get back to two two bucks. Now two bucks, the whole number, and you can see is also a strong resistance area, right there. So held on a support, moved up, went down, came back to test it on February 8th. Didn't like it. And then it's just been moving to the downside ever since. So that's what I've got. That's what I've got on NG. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Beach Bum, that it may not have been a gap down. It might have just been the role of the futures, of the contracts itself. Wait, no, where did I? No, that was, that was the NG, the stock that we were talking about, right? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is going to bother me. I got to know these things, chat. 
<clears throat> no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay. But anyway, hopefully, hopefully, Anissa, that provides you a little bit of insight in terms of how I think, when it, whether I'm trading futures, whether I'm trading <clears throat> stocks or anything like that. That's the way we go in a rock. Zach, we appreciate the support. Uh, make sure you smash the like. And that about does it for us. Um, I'll, I'll hang out for about maybe two more minutes and see if there are any other questions that I can answer in terms of trading for futures, stocks, any charts you want me to take a look at. Let me know. Um, but I'm going to go back to NQ because this is genuinely a trade that I want to take. And I'd love to put the trade on while y'all are on the show, but I'm not going to force a trade. I'm not going to have bad habits because one of the reasons I wanted to do this show is to hold myself accountable and to make sure that I didn't just trade Willy Wonka style and just willy nilly and kind of have discipline, accountability, and take smart, profitable trades. So I'm hoping that we can do that together. Uh, this show will be every Wednesday, every Wednesday at about 11 a.m. And again, working on some cool stuff in the background with Apex. I promise it'll be worth it. Uh, Aaron Thomas, I have another call in three minutes. Um, so I can I can give you three minutes, but I do have to hop off after that. All right, let me see here. All right, chat, you got about another minute or so with me. Huh, interesting. Interesting that you would tweet that or I guess post that in the comments as well. By the way, I'm going to drop my email address. Uh, or matter of fact, my Twitter handle is, oh, you haven't been able to see my lovely face this whole time. My Twitter handle is right there. It's made X in X India. I would love for you to go ahead and slide into my DMs and let me know what you want to see in terms of future shows, uh, influencers, or, you know, folks on Twitter that you want to me to bring on as a guest, anything like that. You can slide into my DMs. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see in the future. And uh, we can we can do our best to make it happen. I promise you, we're taking video to the next level here at Benzing. I know myself, AT, and a couple of our teammates whose names I don't know if I should drop are very uh, hard at work doing things. Uh, set a buy limit order with stop loss, and we can recap the next time it went. I can do that. Yeah, let me let me let me do that. The only thing I'm afraid of, and that's a great point. Let's 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 talk about that, Jonathan. The only thing I'm afraid of is. If it wicks, right? If it like wicks here and then comes back down and rejects, I prefer to get into a trade after the candle closes and not just a wick. Um, so that's my only concern there. But otherwise, that's a that's a smart idea for sure. Uh, matter of fact, let me do this. And I appreciate Flash. I just got the notification that you followed. I appreciate that. But again, slide into my DMs with any questions. Here's what I'm going to do. I will, uh, how do I add a text? I'll make it a note as well. What happened here on? I'll put it in my show's notes as well in my email, but I will leave this. And then when we come back to review the charts next week, um, chat, you can remind me and we will see what happened here. And if you guys and gals took trades based on what we talked about, would love to hear about it. You can slide into my DMs and send me some screenshots. But chat, I appreciate it. I've got to hop off and join another show. We've got, uh, I believe we've got cannabis coming up as well um, later on today. Something I want to mention, we've got NVIDIA earnings that are going on today. We already know about that. However, NVDA earnings, Benzinga. <clears throat> I'm going to be on the NVIDIA earnings call, okay? I'm going to be on the call, like reviewing the call. I'm not actually going to be, you know, not, I'm not that cool yet. Um, let me see. NVIDIA earnings. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Have we, have we, da, 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 da. So here's what's happening, chat. I'm going to post this right now. All right. That is the NVIDIA's earnings call that is going to go on tonight, today, this evening at 5 o'clock. However, 15 minutes before the call, I'm going to review the chart. And maybe we can review what happened here in the futures world, but I'm going to review the chart, talk about NVIDIA, and we can watch the live reaction ourselves of the stock going up or down. But don't go anywhere. We've got a cannabis show coming up. I will see you all today, later on, in about maybe six hours for the NVIDIA earnings. Best of luck. Trade responsibly, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, y'all.